67805 street address five uh, sorry 758 skipjack drive now i don't know this subdivision but jenny thinks highly of it and i've been driving around and it's actually pretty nice i mean it's an older subdivision but all the yards are in good condition i didn't see any you know unusual things going on this is a pretty nice little subdivision I looked at the uh, air conditioner, and that's a newer unit. In fact, fairly new. The house is reasonably cool, so the air conditioning is working. You know, I don't know what to do about this carpet, though. It looks pretty worn. Mm, I'm going to say the carpet has to be replaced. <laughs> That's one way to do a stove. I haven't seen one quite installed like this before. Doesn't really seem like that's the right type of stove for here. I think what happened was they opened this uh, thing up here and they were stuck with the stove sticking up. Very shallow sink spot for a microwave. Boy, this thing's stuck. Okay, well, we'll look at it from another, get out through another way. So family room here, dining room, living room. Okay. All appliances appear to be here. Now, on something like this, <clears throat> these are chips that someone's attempted to paint over with uh, some sort of uh, really crummy paint. We can either epoxy that, which is maybe going to look good enough. Worst comes to worst, we do it. What's called a resurfacing or recoating. Last time I did one was $165, so not a big deal. We can certainly make the place look better by replacing uh, these uh, older light fixtures. The fixtures which we've been using are about $50 a piece installed. I'd leave that one alone. And even this one doesn't look too bad. Nice size closet. <clears throat> 